Hello YouTubesters again, and welcome back to another Let's Play. So, um, this wasn't quite the game I was planning on doing next, seeing as I'm having some issues, but uh, I've been meaning to go back to Final Fantasy 2 for a long time. It was, Final Fantasy 1 was one of the early ones I did on the Game Boy Advance, and I had said I was going to do 2, and I sort of meant to anyway. So, um, that is the plan. I'm going to do Final Fantasy 2, and uh, yeah, it should be fun. Now, forewarning, I'm not as familiar with this game. The original on the NES was never released in English, so I don't have that uh, history as a kid of playing it to death like I did Final Fantasy 1. And I have played it a few times, but don't worry about that. I played, once there was emulators and stuff, I played translations of it on the NES, and that was tough. And then I've played the Game Boy Advance version a few times. Um, once I got this cartridge on the Game Boy, I mean, I had to give this a try. So anyway, uh, enough jibber jabber. Let's get to it if I can get this thing started here. Um, so yeah, I won't know it as well, and it's sometimes difficult. So anyway, Final Fantasy II with me, Blue Ankylo. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see how we do here. Um, so everyone has a name this time. Instead of renaming everyone, I'm going to go with the defaults. Um, these are all four main characters, actually. And one of the cool things, if you ever... This game's kind of based on... This version of it is based on uh, the PlayStation version. And they have actually really cool cutscenes that show them all starting off. But anyway, we're not going to get a chance to do that. So there's no um, setting classes and names at the beginning. You could change their name, but their classes are not a thing in this game. So there's going to be some differences between this and the first game. So let's get to it. The story for this one is a little bit more involved, and we'll get to it as time goes on. It has quite a unique uh, system, uh, like leveling up system, so that should be fun. Also has great music. Uh, I wouldn't say quite as good as Final Fantasy 1, but that's just probably the nostalgia speaking. Um, Emperor of Pal Pal Palamecia is not good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I wouldn't say the music's quite as good as 1, but it's got a couple tunes that are absolutely awesome. So yeah, we'll see how we do here. The Rebel Army, yeah. Alright. But these knights are tough. <laughs> yeah, no good. Empire take up Kath the Rebels. So that's Palamecia attacking Finn specifically. I'll try to keep the story sorted out for you guys. Yep, and we've withdrawn. I believe that's where we'll start once we get there. Now, there wasn't nearly as much information um, in the Final Fantasy 1 NES version, so much harder to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Maybe if you had the instruction book, like a lot of the details from Final Fantasy 1 I got from the actual book, so. Okay, first battle. Good luck. You have nothing. You can uh, attack. Um, so let's attack. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh, only 300 damage. <laughs> oh, Furion. Oh, Leon. 900 damage. Go, Maria. <laughs> okay, maybe we should run. Run for it. Ah, oh, you didn't make it. Looks like we're dead. Game over. Well, that was a short LP. That didn't take very long. Nah, it's a scripted battle. Come on, guys. <laughs> So those, those were four youths fleeing of the Empire. Looks like we might have survived. Maybe? There's a white mage trying to cure us anyway. Ah, Hilda. Will he live? I guess I'll do some voice acting again. It's been a while, maybe I'll be better now. Minwu, it was like Minsu or something in NES. He will. I sense a strong life force within him. He should regain consciousness soon. We found them like this on the escape from Finn, fallen with from terrible wounds. By the time we brought them here, I fear it was already too late. His life is not in danger. This sigil will strengthen his life force. We should let him rest. Of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. If the Empire is allowed to complete the Dreadnought they're building in Basque, their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. Yeah, the Dreadnought. We'll get to that later. 
way later. <laughs> Alright, and like that, we're healed. At least Furion is. <laughs> Leon! Maria! Guy! <laughs> where are you? Uh... Maria. Yeah, Furion, I, you're alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very happy. Here's the music. I love this tune. I'm fine, Maria. Can't you hear that awesome music? You are right too, guy. But wait, where's Leon? Sadness. Princess of Finn, save us. But Leon is not here. We lost him. I see. Don't worry. I'm sure he's okay. Well, he's pretty tough. But... Okay is maybe a bit of an exaggeration. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I won't spoil it, don't worry. If you already know the story, please don't. So, you've regained your strength. Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. No crystals this time. <laughs> it was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, your highness, but there is something I must ask of you. Please allow us to join the rebel army. Of course we would. I could never allow such a thing. You know nothing of battle. You would only be throwing your lives away. You should return to your homes. But what homes? We have no homes. Of course not. Didn't you notice the Empire invaded? The Imperials attacked, and our parents... Yeah, they're dead too. Everyone's dead. I am truly sorry, but even so, this changes nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. If you've nowhere else to go, you're welcome to stay here in Altair. It's not Altair, we're not in Assassin's Creed. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is Wild Roads. Remember it well. So now, uh, this is sort of the system for Final Fantasy II. You can learn keywords and phrases. And we've learned one. And that's kind of how you speak to people. So instead of just, you know, saying, hey, how's it going? You can actually specifically, you know, reference something like this. The Wild Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. It represents our hope for a future that flourishes in both strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I've heard that the Empire's captives have been taken there and suffer even as we speak. Maria, your brother Leon is missing, is he not? It's possible that he's being held in Finn as well. But Finn is far too dangerous now. The Emperor's beasts still stalk the streets, and they're no joke, I guarantee it. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man at my right is Minwu, the white wizard who tended to your wounds. Speak with him before you leave. Very well. So yeah, that's the system. I guess uh, a quick... Can I, I can't even... Oh, I can't even remember. Yeah, there you go. Those are our dudes. Very similar to the old Final Fantasy 1. I'll probably change the color at some point. You can keep track of what you've learned so far. Uh, and you can move people front and back like before. Status, yeah, we'll go over all this later. There's a skill system for weapons and armor, or weapons and shields and magic and stuff. We'll get to that later. Uh, so no one has any magic to start with. Anyway, let's talk to Minwu. I see your destiny clearly. The future it holds seems closely entwined with my own. Indeed. You will begin by journeying to Finn. That is the first step. So we might as well usually, you know, you mention the special words to him and he goes, Haha, you've wasted no time using the password. Heed well the information it will bring you. So yeah, that's kind of the idea. Get information. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Finn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived in Sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least you don't have to pay this time. Final Fantasy 1 you have to pay at a clinic. <laughs> this time it's a little bit cheaper. Okay, there might be, I want to check quick. Uh, yeah, let's turn that onto automatic. Cursor's good. Message speed, let's actually pump that up a little bit, and I'll fiddle with the color later. But now we'll run faster by default, just to save some time. Head to fi heading to Finn, are we? It is not my place to tell you what to do, but I'd reconsider if I were you. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous place to be. The city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. To the north lies a small village called Gatria. Judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky to make it that far. Before you go anywhere, I suggest you visit the room with the sigil that saved your life. There, you'll find people who can teach you a thing or two. Uh, we'll see. I think you're going to need all the advice you can spare. Yeah, we'll see about that. Um, shouldn't be too hard. The port of Paloom lies not far east of here. 
but a lake separates us, so you won't be able to reach the town without a canoe. Well, we know what canoes are like. We played Fall Fantasy 1. This is the Rebels Army's War Room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good enough. You can't uh, speak the special passwords to everyone, only um, certain people. So yeah, you could talk to all these people. Um, no, I'll explain stuff as we go along, because I do know what I'm doing, generally speaking. I think that's where you need to go if someone dies, but that'll never happen, <laughs> ever. Um, so let's just have a quick explore of the castle. I still need to keep my videos short at the moment, so I can't mess around too much. King of Finn, an arrow struck me in the back. In the, in the back, ouch, at least it wasn't the knee, <laughs> leaving me in this state. Perhaps I really have grown old. My daughter Hilda now serves as regent. You should speak with her. We already did. She's got a cool looking sword and a helmet. I don't think there's a whole lot of interactable items in this game. Um, you know, old school. I mean, I can check some stuff, but I don't think there's a lot of secrets. This is the king's... Yeah, yeah. His majesty was sorely wounded in the flight. Well, at least he survived. Yeah, okay. You guys just like repeating things. I get it, I get it. Finish off our exploration here. Yeah. Can we just sleep in the bed? Snooze. This is probably the princess's room, Hilda's, or regent, I guess they call her, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here, shortly, anyway. Yes, I know where we are, thank you. Gordon, the Prince of Kashwan, is hiding out here in Alta Altair. I don't know what's happened, but something has made him lose faith in himself. Yeah, we'll deal with that. Princess Hilda fled here, yeah, we know. She has done a remarkable job. Okay, I won't read everybody, especially when it's just stuff like that. Oh look, a treasure. I will take a potion, thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, standard Final Fantasy fare, all in all. Alright, so that was not really a castle, it was more like a big house. I'm Paul, greatest thief in all the world. They've yet to invent the loot I can't burgle or steal. The Imperial coffers have kept my purse fat with gill lately. And we will ask him about the Wild Rose, just for fun. I never steal from the Rebels. You can be sure of that. My home was in Finn, too. Ah. I can't even go home now that the Empire has occupied the city. Well, remember him. He's important. He has a picture. <laughs> this is the... Th yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, okay, 12 minutes. If I've got enough time, I'll... Oops, no, no. I don't want to leave yet. I want to head to a couple shops, because I think we have a little bit of money. How much money have we got? We got 400 bucks. Nice. We do need some equipment before we go anywhere. Just like Final Fantasy 1, we start with nothing. Now, uh, I'm trying to remember the best way to do this early on. There is some strategy uh, to what you equip and stuff. Um, more weapon-wise than armor-wise. So let's just buy everyone. Let's go weapons first, actually. In this game, you want to stick with weapon types a lot more than in Final Fantasy 1. You don't want to switch back and forth between swords and axes too much. Hey, Tobol, what's up? Um, he's kind of important. The Geezer Act is just a cover. My name's Tobul, and I'm the best darn blacksmith in the Rebel Army. Yeah. Okay, so. We have the options for knives, jav knives, <laughs> staffs, javelins, and broadswords. For now, I'm going to go... Well, um, Firion has a broadsword anyway. Uh, actually, let's just, maybe I should check real quick here. Firion has broadsword, a buckler, leather armor. Maria has bow and clothes. And Guy has axe and leather armor. Okay. Um, I'm probably, a, you know, I might just leave it like that for now. Um, as you can see here, there's uh, skills for all the various weapons. So there's gloves, daggers... Swords, staffs, axes, spears maybe, bows, and shields. And as you use them more, your skill will improve and you will get... I believe for weapons it's pretty straightforward. Right now our attack is 1 times and a 70% chance to hit. Once you level it up it'll be 2 chances. Pretty straightforward. Actually I think magic works very similarly, but we don't have magic yet. And, and shields work for your evasion. So shields are kind of important. And such as that. Um, yeah, no one has any magic yet. Maybe there's a magic store, actually. I might take a little break in between videos here to think about it. Because, not that it's super important early on, but kind of the way your characters progress depends on what you use. So yeah, I could buy like one or two tomes. And I'll probably end up having Maria use cure magic or something. But 
we'll see how it goes. Anyway, it, it's not the end of the world if you mess up early on. You can change it later on. But um, anyway, um, anything else? Oh, I'm, I'm running out of time real quick here. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna. I'm going to cut the video for now, or end episode 1, and in the next episode I'll finish exploring the town and getting ready, and we'll go actually fight stuff and get, get to work. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the introduction to Final Fantasy 2 for the Game Boy Advance. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day!